Hey guys, welcome to the Milan vlog. We're obviously at the airport here and we're having a little bit of a look around the Chanel section because we're being bougie and Nick brought some perfume. From airport, our gate's going to be announced in 45 minutes. It's currently like 6am, 7am, 6.30 probably. The lines this morning were insane. We had to get here three hours early rather than two hours early because how busy it is at the moment because obviously everyone can fly. I've not slept at all so I am dead. I'm hoping to sleep on the plane though. Nick got like four hours sleep so at least we've got like a little bit. We've just got the coach from Bergamo to Milan and we are walking to find our hotel. We're staying at the Ibis Hotel. It's actually raining, um, but it's used to stop raining in about two hours or so. I'm looking very fashionable. I've got Nick's hoodie on top of me and just wearing my standard sweatshirt and leggings combination that I seem to live in at the moment. We basically got the coach to um, Milan Central Station and um, it was about like an hour and I think it was like 12 euros or something each. We're gonna go to the hotel, drop off our stuff, freshen up and then decide what we're gonna do for the day. I would like some food. We also need to pick up some water and stuff. Nick wants food also ASAP. We just made it to our hotel. We're staying at an Ibis hotel in central Milan. And I'm going to give you guys a quick room tour because it's actually quite decent for a Ibis hotel, which I've stayed in before in Germany. I think I might have stayed in one in London as well. Um, but we have quite a bit of space going on here. We've just got this little thing here. Your bags on, got a little desk and TV. We have a little wardrobe. We have quite a big window it's not the best view but i do like a big window and then we have like hella floor space which is great and we just have our bed here nick's just gone to the shop to get some waters and stuff and then this weird art installation um and then obviously we have our bathroom which is quite nice like the shower looks pretty decent to be honest i'm so tired like i can't i can't exp i can't express to you how tired i am like i literally didn't sleep at all last night and i maybe got about 30 minutes on the plane so i'm currently running on 30 minutes sleep like exhaustion is real as we're about to see i've gotten changed i'm just gonna do some very quick makeup um, but i just wanted to explain very quickly about what the entry requirements are for milan at the moment because obviously they're constantly changing they've actually scrapped passenger locator form so we didn't have to do passenger locator form which i realized like two days before we um flew which was a massive relief because it's it's just stressful flying isn't it you want to make sure you've got everything done so knowing that you don't have to do an extra something is just like a win it requires you to be either double vaccinated or if you can't prove that you've been double vaccinated you either need to do a pcr within two hours or a lateral flow within 48 hours or you just need to show um you've sort of recovered from covid in a certain time period i think um but both nick and i are double vaccinated we're a little bit worried because nick hasn't got his booster yet um, he's going to get his booster, but he just hasn't got it yet. So we're a bit worried about that. But honestly, it was absolutely fine. We flew into Bergamo Airport, which is actually about an hour away from central Milan. There are a few different airports within Milan, some of which are actually closer to the city centre than the one that we decided to fly to. Um, and I think the reason why Nick was just asking me this, he was like, why did we decide to choose this one? And I think it was just because the flights were cheaper um, and maybe something about like, not being able to get like direct flights or something into the other ones i'm not 100 percent sure so do not quote me on that one but basically when we got to bergamo airport we basically just got on a bus like an hour i think um well it's more like a coach really and it took us to milan central station which is a 13 minute walk away from our hotel but this is my outfit by the way i'm just wearing this like floaty skirt um with a little um slit in it and this top from Urban Outfitters. The shop, and then the person says to me, oh, there is a supermarket across the road. Oh. I was like, oh, okay, thank you. But did it's you, literally around the corner. Did you go to it, or did you just... I just went to the shop, because I'd already bought us two bottles of water. I thought maybe okay. later we could hit the supermarket together. Yeah, get some snacks. Oh, no, it's sparkling water. Oh, no, is it? Yeah. <laughs> These are some fries and these are some patatas or something. I don't know what it's called, but they look insane. We've just had some food and I've just checked the weather and it's due to be raining for the next three days that we are here. So it's going to be raining for the rest of the day, which is fine because we're just going to have a chill day today. Like we're both things awesome. Just had the best fries I've ever had in my entire life. And now we're going to walk to a district called the Brera district, which is like the historical sort of center of Milan. Just see what we can find.
This castle was actually a medieval fort and it was built in the 15th century by the Duke of Milan. You can go and get an actual tour of the inside of the castle and you can look around the museum too but we just decided to have a walk around the grounds as that was free. a little walk around the castle which we stumbled across. It is like very highly recommended and it's very pretty and now we're currently walking in Parc Saint-Pion which is just on the back of that castle. I didn't realise how like close everything was to each other in Milan like I kind of realised like some of it was. It's all very walkable basically. We walked to a different district and then ended up in the district that we're supposed to be going to tomorrow um, but yeah the park is very pretty and it's massive as well. The metro system here was really easy to navigate as well once you'd sort of gotten the hang of it but it did take us a little bit of time to figure it out but once we did it was very straightforward. And then we came across a little hole in the wall that was just basically selling weed from a dispenser at the side of a supermarket. We've just come back to the hotel, we've done 17,000 steps. Picked up some lime weed because when in Italy we've also picked up like five of these. I'm going to go have a shower, get all warmed up. Even though the weather is quite warm. Day one, big success. What's your what's your review of day one, Nick? What what do we think so far? So a big success. I thought we've got our bearings really well. I feel like everything's sort of gone to plan. Look how to me. Day two and we are off, we're ready to go. It's about ten o'clock, we're about to leave. Just got on some jeans, cute little black fake leather blazer, um, and this little pink cropped off and this is the Milanese outfit for the day. I've also got on my new Fendi ring that they got me. I'm literally obsessed with this. It's so pretty. And there's two rings here. This one's just like a Nike signet type ring. And then this like, hold on, is it gonna focus? This like Cartier ring. Oh, love them. We're gonna go do some cultural stuff. We're gonna get some breakfast hopefully because we're both literally starving. Very excited for day two. Whoop, whoop, whoop. whoop we go to the Duma. Whoop, whoop. whoop. Breakfast is looking very carvelicious. And you've got the same thing. This is the Il Duomo Cathedral. It's so grand. And this is obviously Duomo Square. And has asked Nick to take pictures, and Nick's been taking pictures of him now for about 20 minutes, I swear to God. <laughs> yes, man in the orange shirt. Get it. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Grail. We've just made it to the biggest Starbucks in Europe. It is huge. Oh my god. Look how big that is. Just a word of warning. Milan is the city of queuing. You have to queue to go everywhere. We're currently queuing up to get into a Starbucks. 
So as you will see, this was an absolutely huge Starbucks and you will see a big green roastery in one of the cliff. And the drinks here were also insane, like they had so many different flavours and so many different concoctions that you could make that we just don't have in the UK. You don't want it. No, I do want it. I think I just like a bit more patient. Had it better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very impatient when it comes to queuing. But so am I, to be fair. It's just a waste of life, isn't it? Yeah. Queuing for a Starbucks, never thought I'd do that. But to be honest, like this makes it worth it for me. Like I've been wanting a nice coffee all day. Well, you didn't get one yesterday, did you? Sad times. That's so sweet, though. Look, it's got like a nice, real, look a really nice sweet attitude. It does. Look, like, usually you get the coffee after so, so but with that, it's just sweet. Spaghetti, a Cassio of Fe, and Nick has gotten some Milanese risotto. That's so good. I just had literally the nicest Cassio of Fe, probably ever. Like it's so good. Like if you've ever been to Italy, I'm sure you've had it before. It's literally cheese and pepper pasta. It's so good. But we're gonna head back now, have a quick outfit change. To a district called the Mili, <laughs> which in the day is supposed to be like surrounded by art and like crafts and stuff like that, and like cool history kind of vibes. And then in the night, it's supposed to be more like bars and restaurants. But honestly, this okay, so the Duomo Il Milano is a cathedral, obviously, and it's so like imposing. Like, you just walk around the corner, you don't want to expect it to be there, and then boom, massive, massive building. The camera is not doing it just for ever come to Milan. You definitely have to do it. It's like probably the number one tourist attraction. It's so busy. I accidentally stole a Starbucks cup. I didn't mean to, it was an accident. But I basically put it in my bag without thinking about it because the queue was so long and I was like alternating between holding my phone and holding my purse. And I kept like putting stuff in and out of my purse that for some reason I just like, what's the word? Absent mindedly put this in my bag as well. And then like I walked out of it and Nick was like, oh, did you not get a cup? Like, because I wanted to buy a cup to like bring one back home. Um, and then I was like, oh. Yeah, I did. I put it in my purse. So I accidentally didn't pay for, for this and I accidentally stole from Starbucks and it was supposed to be 16 euros and I felt really bad about it. But, but yeah, we're going to have a quick shower, quick change of fit tonight's outfit for the Nabili district. Purple sheen dress, black fake leather blazer, accessory, Moretti beer. Step one. Wake up, really gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. This is huge. Oh my god, for reference. This is my hand. Next plate. Oh my god, that is gonna be a good day. Set your affirmations, aspirations. So this is the vertical forest and contains more than 900 trees on 8,900 square meters of terraces. The whole idea behind it is to promote the coexistence of architecture and nature in urban areas, as well as the creation of complex urban ecosystems.
Welcome back to Starbucks for a second day in a row. I've got the same, an iced butterscotch latte, and Nick has got like some sort of chocolatey milkshake. Yeah, made from gelato. So let's, let's give it a taste test. What do we think? Oh, let's try some. It's like a butterscotch syrup, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you can just have a butterscotch syrup and more like that. Yeah, just give it a shot. Maybe you should keep it. Maybe you should keep it. Italian of me went for a burger. What did you actually get? I didn't listen. Ham and mushroom. Ham and mushroom. That looks good though, doesn't it? Oh my god. Let's eat. Hello all. Forgot to check in today. So it's our last day in Milan, sadly. We were going to go to the San Siro Stadium, which is like their football stadium for like AC Milan and Inter Milan, apparently. Um, AC Milan's grounds, okay. But the problem is, is it's quite far from where we were staying, so it was going to be like an hour travelling there, an hour travelling back. We tried to book a tour online, and it wasn't clear what time the tour started. The guy who works in our hotel translated it for us and told us that it started at 10 a.m. and like possibly ran until 5 p.m. But surely, an hour, like a tour can not last seven hours. So we were just really confused. So we were thinking about booking tickets and then just turning off, and then we were like, oh. What about if we don't have enough time to come back to then like get ourselves to the airport? Because the airport's like an hour away as well. Oh, words. An hour away. An hour away as well. Um, so yeah, we missed out on the San Siro Stadium, which is really sad. And I feel really sad for Nick because he loves his football. But like you know what we've we've said we're just gonna come we're just gonna come back and we're just gonna do the San Siro Stadium, like we've managed to do pretty much everything else on the list that we wanted to do. We went to the Vertical Forest earlier. Now we're heading over to the it's like a building called I think it's called the Il Chen Chen Sicola, which is basically where they like have the the Last Supper is housed. Like it sits there. Um, I don't think we can go in and see the Last Supper. But the building's supposed to be quite nice. So we're just gonna have a little look at the actual building that it's like situated in. You fifth the building? You fifth it? Okay, we're here now, so let's have a look. You have to wear FFP2 masks, by the way, in Italy at all times. It is a requirement. to the end of the Milan vlog. I hope you all really enjoyed this one. There's going to be some more travel vlogs coming soon. So if you enjoy that kind of content, obviously make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit the like button. You can kind of do the whole of Milan in like two to three days. So if you're just looking for like a very short trip like that, look, I definitely recommend it. Milan is kind of expensive, but you can get really cheap flights and cheap hotels as well if you look around. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah. Like. Oh,